today's video, I want to share with you my favorite places to go out in Atlanta. Um, restaurants, lounges, bars, all the above, breakfast place, quick eats, fast eats, everything like that. Um, I know in my Q&A, a couple of you asked for a video like this, and I know that IMATS will be here in Atlanta next month, so in case you guys wanna go out, try some new spots, places to shop, anything like that, I'm gonna bring to you my favorite places out and about in Atlanta. So, I'm gonna preface this video by saying that I don't go out a lot. I am a homebody. I like spending my weekends in front of the fireplace and the TV watching a Lifetime movie with a glass of wine and my dog, eating pizza. Like, I like to go out and socialize, but I'd much rather be a homebody. So take that into consideration. <laughs> um, I don't really do clubs or anything. I just, I have the soul of like a 40 year old woman and I'm okay with that because that's the lifestyle <laughs> that I live. So um, yeah, so first I want to share my three favorite like go out, have fun places, turn up, but they're like, well, one's not really low key, but they're on a smaller scale. So instead of going to like a club or anything, I don't really do lounges too much, but I have a couple places that I like to go. The first one is going to be Sivas. It's actually called The Sivas, I believe. And it is on Juniper Street in Atlanta. I'm gonna leave the names of all these places down below. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me there a lot this summer. That is by far my favorite place to go to just have a good time. It's a hookah lounge, smoke hookah, drink have appetizers it's a loud atmosphere though so it's not anywhere you want to go like on a Friday night with your girls to unwind and chat because it's kind of a loud atmosphere but I love that place that's like where you go after you go out to eat on a Friday when you just want to have drinks and relax and have a good time they have the best music they play a lot of music from like when I was in college which I love that's like my favorite music to dance to and y'all know I love a little chair dance and that's just one of my favorite places without a doubt. The next place is Boogaloo and I have been here once but I really really enjoyed it. Now Boogaloo is you've probably seen it on a lot of reality shows that are here in Atlanta. Um, it's off of Ponce and it's a smaller scale like restaurant lounge and at night it turns into like lounge bordering club um i really liked it though because they have places to sit i mean you do have to do bottle service but i like it because there's somewhere to sit i don't like going to really large clubs where you have to stand up all night because if you want me to wear heels that's just not happening so i do like boogaloo that's where you go when you want to dance turn up you can still drink they have hookah they have have good food but it's more of like a party place you people actually do dance there I mean when you're at Sivas you're not really dancing it's more of just like vibing to the music and having a good time so I definitely like Boogaloo and my third place is 255. 255 is on Peter Street, I believe. And I've been there a couple of times and I really like it. They have an outdoor patio. Once again, at night it kind of turns into like a loungy vibe, but they have like um, outdoor booths and you can dance. They have hookah once again. Hookah is like all over Atlanta. Um, but the places that I go are more geared towards the older crowds. I don't really like going anywhere that's super, super popular with like 25 and under people I like going places where there's probably older people because that's just more my style so um, I do like 255 they have good food as well um, so that would be my third like turn up spot I don't really go to too many places to club and go to lounges because that's just not really my style but every now and again I just want to go somewhere like that and I end up having the best time now I want to talk about some of my favorite places to eat around Atlanta. And the first one is Spin. I believe it's actually called The Spinning Pie. And it's owned by the same people who own 255, I believe. It's right down the street from 255 on Peter Street. It's a pizza place. But once again, they play music. They have hookah. It's a bar. <laughs> like, 
everything I love, but that's a more spot where you can go on a Friday night. Well, I haven't been on a Friday, but that's where I go like during the week if you wanna go after work or something to have drinks. It's not too loud and rowdy. Um, the food is good, the appetizers are good, the drinks are good, it's like a little bar, I like it. So that's been. My next favorite is Joe's on Juniper, and that's on Juniper, obviously. Um, Joe's is actually a gay bar, so if you're not comfortable with the LGBT crowd, you might not want to go there. And actually, you might not want to go to a lot of these places because Atlanta is very LGBT friendly. Um, so yeah, just going to throw that out there. But I love Joe's on Juniper. It's like my favorite favorite place to go on a Friday night. They have a huge outdoor patio. They have music. It's chill. It's relaxed. But I love it. I love the food. They have wings. You guys know I love wings. They have really good fried shrimp and chicken nachos. Oh my goodness. I just love Joe's. If I'm going out on a Friday night, please believe if I wanna eat good and drink and have fun, I'm going to Joe's. When it gets cold outside and you have to switch to the inside, I don't like it as much because I love the atmosphere of like sitting out on their patio. Um, Joe's on Juniper is my fave. Next is Poor Calvin's and uh, I used to get this all the time when I was working. Um, Poor Calvin's is my favorite place to bring people uh, if they're coming into Atlanta or if I'm going on a date, <laughs> Port Calvin's is a great first date spot. The food is great. It's like Southern cuisine with an Asian influence. So you have like <sighs> crispy, crispy beef, which is like an Asian dish, but it's fried. You have lobster fried rice, lobster wontons with caviar on top. The drinks are decadent. The one I get usually has like a flour in it. Poor Calvin's is amazing. Their fried chicken and mac and cheese with lobster is so good. So yeah, Poor Calvin's is like a nicer restaurant. It's actually on what street is that on? North Avenue and what's that street? <laughs> I can't think of that street. It's not Peachtree. But basically it's the street that runs into everything. Um, it's I love Poor Calvin's. Definitely a spot if you're coming to Atlanta and you just want some interesting food, but a nice relaxing place, a good spot to have brunch. Like I said, it's great for dates or just meeting your girls or even families. I mean, I wouldn't really recommend it for kids. I don't know if I'd take a kid there, but I love Poor Calvin's. Just a really nice spot that's a chill atmosphere and the food is amazing. Okay, next is Fat Matt's Rib Shack. And this is my favorite rib place, barbecue place in the city. It's on, why am I blocking on this street? It's not Peachtree, it's, the... it's on Piedmont. Okay, so Poor Calvin's is on Piedmont. <laughs> Fat Matt's is also on Piedmont. I believe and I just love Fat Matt's. I used to go there when I was little. My dad would get the food. I'm really picky about barbecue but if you're coming into Atlanta and you want good barbecue I would definitely recommend Fat Matt's. There's probably going to be a line out the door but I guarantee you it is so worth it. I love it. It's just Oh, it's so good, it's scrumptious. And I'm not a barbecue eater, but every once in a while I have barbecue and I'm like, why don't I eat it more often? It's so good. <laughs> Next is Antico Pizza. And this is by Georgia Tech. If you watched my vlog a couple of years ago, I actually went there for my birthday. And it's like authentic Italian pizza. It reminds me of living in New York, my favorite places when I was in New York. So it's real authentic pizza. When I went, I believe it was BYOB, so they don't serve alcohol there. It's not the type of place, it's, it's like a cafeteria atmosphere where you sit down, but the pizza is amazing. So if you want really good pizza in Atlanta, Antico is definitely great. And they also own a couple of other restaurants I haven't been to, but they're on my list of things to try, definitely. So that's another one of my favorite pizza spots for authentic Italian pizza. Next is going to be South City Kitchen. And this is in Midtown, I believe on Crescent Avenue, if I'm not mistaken. And this is somewhere we used to go when I was younger, somewhere I've been now that I'm older. And this is like southern delicacy food. So if you're coming to Atlanta and you just want to try some good southern food, I would highly recommend South City Kitchen. Don't go to Mary Mac's Tea Room. I'm just... 
I'm, sorry, I'm just gonna say that Mary Max is something that you see a lot on popular television shows in Atlanta I had never been there Mary Max is on Ponce it's like across the street from Boogaloo um, I brought my friend Kelly there who's on YouTube and we did not enjoy it like the food was kind of bland I think Pascal's has way better soul food than Mary Max so I would say like Pascal's which is on north side over by Peter Street and Spelman, the AUC Center. Between Pascal's and South City Kitchen, that's where you're gonna get some really good soul food. And I'm not a soul food eater, but <laughs> when I am with people who want soul food, that's where we go. You're always guaranteed to enjoy your food. A restaurant that I love that's in South Atlanta by the airport, and it is a seafood, and it is the world famous Spondivitz. <sighs> I love Spondivitz. Once again, it's been in Atlanta for probably 20 plus years. I've been going there since I was a kid. It's a great spot if you're coming into Atlanta. You can eat it on your way to the city if you're staying in the city because it's probably five minutes from the airport in South Atlanta. Um, just amazing seafood, just a regular, it's nothing fancy, but it's good seafood. Um, the celebrities go there and hang out. You're guaranteed to see one of them if you go at night. I just, I love Spawn Davids. I just love getting crab legs. Their gumbo is amazing. So if you want good seafood south of the city, Spawn Davids is definitely where it's at. Next is more, um, we're getting into like quick eats. So my first one is going to be Kel's Kitchen. And this is downtown. I'm not sure what street it's on, but like I said, I'm gonna list everything down below. Cal's Kitchen is like a family neighborhood spot where you can get every type of food from like a shrimp po' boy to spaghetti, wings, anything like that. This was one of the places I would go to um, for lunch when I was working. It's a quick eat spot, but it's really good. Um, just good food. <laughs> That's all I care about when I'm looking for places to eat. But it's more of a quick eats place. It's not like a restaurant that you can go sit in. I mean, you can sit in it, but it's more of like grab and go kind of quick eats. Next would be 10 Lizzie's and this is one of my favorite chains in Atlanta to go to with my friends. We used to always meet up here on Friday nights. We're gonna have to do another girls night there soon. Um, but there's locations all over Atlanta, Grant Park, um, Buckhead, and even in the suburbs. But if you want good Mexican food, tacos, it's like Tex-Mex, so like tacos, fajitas, quesadillas, really good margaritas, definitely 10 Lizzie's. Um, um, I think last year we went on Cinco de Mayo. It's just a good place to go. It's definitely not like authentic Mexican, but it's the type of Mexican you wanna go to on a Friday night and just drink and have a good time. And they play music sometimes, at least at the Buckhead location. So I love Tim Lizzie's. Now, if you want more authentic Mexican food, my favorite, because I'm not that much into Mexican, it will probably be La Fonda, which is off of Marietta Street, I believe, downtown. And um, that's more of like authentic Mexican, more than just like your tacos and fajitas, but really good. The drinks are really good. It's a nice, chill atmosphere. And I love La Fonda as well. A seafood place that I like going to is Six Feet Under, and that is on the east side. I think it is off of Moreland or Memorial Drive. One of those. Right next to that is actually one of the 10 Lizzie's location. But Six Feet Under is a good, chill, relaxed spot um, where I would go for seafood. I usually always get like a shrimp po' boy or fried shrimp, but it's really good seafood, casual, nothing too fancy. Um, I'm trying to include places on this video that aren't like chains. Like there are tons of seafood places that I love and like steakhouses, but they're more of chain restaurants. So I tried to include things that are just specific to Atlanta. But the one chain here that I love, that I would be remiss if I didn't include it, is Houston's. And they just closed um, the location off Lenox. 
the Linux location of Houston's. But that is a place that my parents used to always go to when I was little. They would go with their friends. And when I grew up, I started going there with my friends. It's definitely expensive. If you go to Houston's and you like to eat how my friends and I like to eat, you're probably gonna spend about $100 each, but the food is really, really good. The menu is very simple. They don't have a lot, but everything on the menu is so amazing. I love the Hawaiian ribeye. I love the ribs. You have to get the spinach dip. Their martinis, amazing. So definitely Houston's if you're here. The only location left, I believe, other than North Atlanta is, um, it's on Peachtree, but it's not the one on Linux. It's not the one by Linux, but Houston's is definitely a fave. I just love it. Okay, now let's go to breakfast places. I have a couple of breakfast places on here because I'm not a breakfast eater, but you know, people like doing brunch. So we have to include breakfast. So my first is going to be Thumbs Up Diner and that is a staple here in Atlanta. I've been going to Thumbs Up since I was a child. They have multiple locations around Atlanta, Midtown. I believe they have one on the Beltline. They have them in the suburbs as well. That's just a good casual place. It's like a diner. Um, for just good breakfast. It's very kid friendly, nothing fancy. It's not like bottomless mimosa place, but if you're out and about and you really just want some good breakfast, good southern breakfast too, thumbs up diner. You'll probably really appreciate that. My next place is called Milk and Honey and I actually went here for the first time with one of my subbies, Tabitha. She was in town um, this past summer and we actually went. Now Milk and Honey actually has another location in the DC area. My girl Stacy told me that um, and I didn't know that, but Milk and Honey is so good. It's a breakfast place that's open all day of course and their food is amazing oh my gosh when I went I had red velvet pan no red velvet waffles with fried chicken and it was so good you guys I don't like breakfast that much but it was so good I think Tabitha had shrimp and grits and it looked amazing and her friend had like some sandwich some seafood burger <sighs> So if you want a chill place to go for breakfast, this is actually off Cascade. So it's not like super downtown, but it's close enough. Um, it's definitely not a turn up spot. It's more of a family place, but they have amazing food and I think you will definitely love it. It's just, ooh, I can't wait to go back. I'm gonna have to do a mukbang from there. The next place is called Parish, and I think it's called like Parish something 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 uh it's in it's on the atlanta belt line i don't know exactly where it is but i went there a couple times and it's so good parish is like a nicer brunch spot so maybe if you and your girlfriends want to go grab brunch or breakfast one day and get dressed up go after church it's not really a kid friendly spot i don't think but they have really good food i think the only times i've been there i've gotten like french toast or something small because i'm not a big breakfast breakfast eater but their drinks are good the atmosphere is nice it's a nice area you can walk around very chill but just like good food and that's that's all we want <laughs> and my last spot is actually a more of like a lounge spot but it's called 55th and park and i went there for one of my friend's birthday this past summer and they have bottomless mimosas and bellinis they have hookah they have amazing food i had the shrimp and grits when i went and it was amazing like oh, that's like what more could you want music food friends hookah drinks like it's great and that is actually downtown i think by georgia state so definitely check that spot out and i have two honorable mentions of places if you are here that you could go to if you want to treat yourself one is going to be a hair salon and one is a spa so the hair salon is too groovy and this is a really good hair salon if you have natural hair i used to go to too groovy Ooh, maybe a decade ago when I was in college, my mom goes there sometimes when she's in the city because she is natural. I am no longer natural, but they do natural hair only and they are amazing. I wish I could recommend a hairstylist, but I can't remember my lady's name. But if you're here and you want to get your hair done and you have natural hair, definitely check out Too Groovy. It is on Ponce right across from uh, Mary Max 
and Boogaloo. So that's a great place. And if you're here and you want to treat yourself and go to a spa that's inexpensive, um, comparable to a hotel, I would definitely recommend Treat Your Feet in Buckhead. It is right down the street from Lenox Mall. Amazing. I went there for my past birthday and I got a massage and a foot massage and it was amazing. And it wasn't, I think I spent probably a hundred dollars for an hour and 30 minutes of both it, like combined including tip which is like unheard of at any spa I've ever gone to so definitely check out treat your feet buckhead I'm not gonna include anything else in this video because it's already 21 minutes I've been talking way too long but I hope to have provided you guys with some great suggestions of my favorite places to frequent in Atlanta as far as eating dining and having fun as far as shopping you can shop anywhere but when I go to places I like to eat so that's why I wanted to do this video let me know what are some of your favorite places in Atlanta down below in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Bye.